National Educator. Hello students, my name is teacher third years Baluka and today I'm teaching you chemistry form 3. Our topic of today is gas loads. Our subtopic is Boyce Lou and Charles Lou. Work welcome. Let's look at our lesson objectives. Let's look at our lesson objectives, students. By the end of the lesson today, the learner should be able to define what is an ideal gas. The learner should also be able to differentiate between ideal gas and real gas. The learner should also be able to state the, the, the Boyce law and the Charles law. The learner should also be able to express the Boyce law and the Charles law mathematically and use it to solve mathematical problems. The learner should be able to express the Boyce law and the Charles law mathematically and use it to, form, to solve mathematical problems. Let's look, let's look at the introduction. The gas laws explain what happens to gases under different conditions of temperature and pressure. So when we are dealing with the gas loads, we are, looking, we are going to be looking at what is the effect of variation of volume, of, of volume when the temperature and pressure of that particular gas is varied. So there are three gas loads under this topic. And those gas loads are the Boyce law, the Charles law, and the ideal gas law, what we normally refer to as the ideal gas equation, or rather the, the combined gas law. So let's look at our first objective. Normally, the gas loads are used, or rather are obeyed by ideal gas. So it is important for a student to be able to understand what is an ideal gas. An ideal gas is an hypothetical gas whose molecules occupy negligible space and have no interactions. And consequently, they are able to obey the gas laws. As I've said, ideal gas is an hypothetical. It's more of an imaginary gas which, whose molecules have almost zero space. They occupy zero space, they have negligible space, very, very small space, and they have no interactions. And therefore, they are able to obey the gas laws. But let's look, what's the difference between an ideal gas and a real gas? A real gas occupies some space. It obeys the, the kinetic theory. And also, according to definition of matter, matter is anything that has space occupy space and as mass and therefore an ideal gas has no space does not occupy any reasonable space and also have zero interaction but a real gas occupies some space and also there are some forces of attraction between the molecules of a real gas let's look at the boys law the first law the first law which is the boys law describes the relationship between the volume of a, of a fixed volume of a gas and pressure of a gas when the temperature is kept constant. So let's look at now the Boyle's law. What does it state? As shown on the screen, the Boyle's law states that the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure provided that the temperature is kept constant. 